All right, guys, we're getting there. Um, so we have our display, our add functionality. Now what we want to do is implement delete and just clearing all of the customers out. So let's start with the easier one, which is to clear the customers. And I want this link to appear red, just so people know that um, if you click on it, something big is going to happen. Okay, it's going to delete your whole list. So let's go to the CSS file, which we haven't really been to yet, style.css, and go down all the way to the bottom. Okay, I'm going to add the class danger, and I just want the color to be red. Okay, and we already added the class. If you look right here, clear customers has the class of danger, so that should make it red. Okay, now we want to add a click handler. So let's see, we're going to say on click. On click is going to equal clear customers. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and create that function. Alright, so this is very easy. We just want the indexed db uh, object and then we're going to run delete database and you just want to put in the name of the database. Okay, and then we're simply going to just redirect window. Not HTML window dot location dot href. Okay, that's gonna go to index dot HTML. All right, let's try that out. Okay, click. All right, so it clears out everything. So that works. Let's uh, go ahead and add a couple. Um, let's use real names. Let's see, Chris Smith. Okay, add. Okay, I'll just put my wife's name in here. Put me in there. Just use whatever. Um, let's see. Let's put in John Doe. And Jane Doe. Not dope, Doe. All right, so we got a couple customers to work with. So let's go and um, we need to add a click handler to this delete link. And the delete link is going to be in this dynamic code. It's not in the index page. All right, so delete. We want to say on click is going to go to a function called remove customer and we're going to pass in uh, a value we want to pass in the ID of the customer which can be displayed with this okay so I'm going to copy that and just pass that in as a parameter and then down here we can create that I'll create it right here delete a customer and this is going to be function remove customer and I'm going to pass in the ID all right and just like the other one the other um, functions we're going to create a transaction variable 
actually I'll just copy it okay so basically we want the transaction and the store okay and this is going to be read write because we're going to be deleting which is a write and then the store that looks good okay request request is going to equal store dot delete and we want to pass in the ID as the primary key okay and then we want our success and error callbacks Okay, so here I want to call, I want to log in the console. Um, I'm just going to say customer and then the the ID. Deleted. Okay, so it'll say customer three deleted or whatever. All right, and then what we want to do is remove the customer from the DOM so when we click delete we want the customer to to be removed without having to reload the page okay so that's really easy using jQuery we can just use the remove method okay so we want to grab it. actually this is we have to do something else here as well so basically um, We're going to grab this with customer underscore customer underscore ID dot remove. All right, now this what we're grabbing here. This is actually should be a class. Is going to be customer and then an underscore and then whatever the ID. And we need to create that up here as well. So. We need to add an ID to the table row because that's what we want to delete. And basically it's going to have an ID of customer underscore. Uh, actually, we need to make these single quotes. Okay, customer underscore and then concatenate on the ID which comes from this. Um, let me see. Okay, we need to get rid of that. Wait a minute. ID equals customer. And then we're breaking out of the string here. And then um, all right, there we go. So that'll give the, the an ID of customer underscore and then the ID. All right. So let's go ahead and try this out. Actually, we need to do the error. And I'm just going to copy it from up here. Okay, and we'll, we'll just keep the same thing except we're going to change not added to not deleted. Actually, removed sounds a little better. All right, so let's try that. Okay, we'll click delete John Doe. All right, so he's gone. So that works. And I'm going to stop here because editing or updating is going to be. Um, probably the longest video because this is the most code. All right, so now we can delete and clear all of our customers.